hitch pins. You guys that trailer and have trucks or jeeps or whatever, you trailer or something, you know the importance of having a good strong hitch. Um, I got a couple things that I haul, a utility trailer, plus a big boat trailer. So you want to make sure that you have the right hitch pin and the right hitch ball. Uh, this is a drop hitch that I use from my utility trailer. It uses a two inch ball and it has a uniball on here under this cover. And you, the uniball you can change from one and seven eighths, two inch to two and five sixteenths. And it's about a six inch drop. That makes it about 19 inches from the ground up. I think it's 17 to 19 inches the perfect trailer heights because you you don't want your trailer tongue too high, you don't want it too low, you want it just to haul flat. It might be off the numbers, but that's okay. The larger pins you see down here, here's a steel two inch riser with a two and five sixteenths ball. You can see how much higher that would be. That's from my boat trailer. Some of the boat ramps I actually have to stop at change my pin just to put the boat in the water because the trailer is too low. So this is the one I would change to. It's a two inch higher and you can see higher than a bumper. When I haul the boat I use this aluminum pin that's rated for I think 5,000 pounds or 10,000 pounds um, with a two and five sixteenths ball. That is a two inches higher than the regular drop pin. That's for pulling a big trailer. Whether it's a tractor you guys pull around or whatever. Uh, here's an example. There's a two inch drop. Or can be used as a two inch riser. A lot of people are funny. Oh, I need I need one to I need a two inch high. Well just turn the thing over, man. Get over it. So that's hitch pins and trailer balls. Remember that if you do tow, whether it's a four-wheeler, boat, trailer, whatever, that you don't cheap out and get a cheap ball, whether it's a two-inch ball or a two and five sixteenths or one and seven eighths, make sure you get one that's rated. I think this is like a 10,000 or an 8,000 pound hitch ball. You don't want to get cheap. You could use these uniballs like this that you can change but I wouldn't carry I wouldn't pull my boat with it I don't trust it I wanna these are only a in fact that one is a one inch shaft you can see that's a one inch diameter bolt in that hitch ball that's what you want you don't want to put a spacer in there and a small ball that's what you want the big one inch hitch ball so that's my uh little deal on trailer hitches.